Hey, what's up, guys? Tyler here with Secure Team. So we have a new uh, news story here that most of you are probably not going to believe. But as I've said many times before, reality can be much stranger than fiction. And so if you haven't seen this yet, according to China, there is a very real possibility of people looking up into the sky and actually seeing a second moon. This after reports that China is planning to launch its own artificial moon by the year 2020 to replace street lamps and lower electricity costs in urban areas. And this is no joke. I mean, when I say artificial moon, that's exactly what they are talking about. Uh, something that looks like our moon, only obviously much smaller, but they've said that this thing will be able to be seen uh, from a range of around 50 miles away and overseas even. So according to state media here, the Xi'an province is developing, quote, illumination satellites, which will shine in tandem with the real moon, but are eight times brighter, according to China Daily. The first man-made moon will launch from the Zichang Satellite Launch Center in Sichuan, with three more to follow in 2022 if the first test goes well. And this is according to Wu Chengfeng, head of the Tianfu New Area Science Society, the organization responsible for the project, who says that Though the first launch will be experimental, the 2022 satellites will, quote, be the real deal with great civic and commercial potential. So they're going to put this massive artificial moon up in the sky that's going to look like a second moon, and the way it's going to work is by reflecting light from the sun. And they're going to be using it, or at least what they want to use it for, is to replace street lamps in urban areas, saving an estimated 1.2 billion yen per year in electricity costs. Um, if the man-made moons illuminate uh, the, the 50 square kilometers that they want it to illuminate and more. As well, the extraterrestrial source of light could also help rescue efforts in disaster zones during blackouts. And there are already concerns about this coming forth from people saying that this second moon, although it'll be much smaller than the actual moon, it'll be putting out light, much like our actual moon, and could very well possibly disrupt nocturnal animals who depend on the moonlight, the darkness, the light from the sun, all of these different things in order to survive. There are also questions that this artificial moon will disrupt uh, astronomical observations. However, the uh, Chinese media and scientists have said that the light of this artificial satellite will be similar to that of a dusk-like glow and should not affect uh, animals' routines. Now, uh, I should know here, this isn't the first time that artificial objects have been sent up in order to reflect sunlight back to Earth. Beginning all the way back in the 1990s, where a team of Russian astronomers and engineers succeeded in launching a satellite into space to deflect sunlight back to Earth, briefly illuminating the nighttime hemisphere. Then again in 1999, where once again, Preemptive concerns about light pollution disrupting nocturnal animals and astronomical observations were put forth. In 2013, three large computer-controlled mirrors were installed above the Norwegian town of Rukon to track the movement of the sun and reflect its rays down on the town square. But none of them have been as ambitious as actually creating a second moon that could potentially be seen overseas, seen at, at the very least around 50 miles or kilometers in all directions, depending on how big this thing is. But as I said, this is real. They are serious about putting up a second artificial moon that will be able to light up an area with a diameter of 10 to 80 kilometers. I guess only time will tell whether they'll be able to accomplish it. We don't have any further details yet. Uh, as to what it'll be made of, how it will sit in the sky, the means of actually getting it up there and keeping it there, um, I guess we'll report on in future. So tell me what you guys think. 
I'll put some links to this down below. You can check it out for yourselves and stay tuned because I've got more videos in the works. I took a couple of days off to catch up on emails and new footage coming in. So I hope you guys don't think I forgot about you. New videos coming, so stay tuned, subscribe, share. I really appreciate it, and I will see you guys back in just a bit.